Jete Anang is a seasoned Ghanaian actor most famed for his breakout role as Pusha in the classic TV serial Things We Do For Love. The widely respected actor is known as the most consistent Ghanaian celebrity with over 70 movies and TV shows to his credit. When he isn't acting, Ajete Anang lectures at NAFTI. Hi, Ajete Anang here and um, I trust you're well. So finally I get to answer your questions. If you're ready, let's do this. This is 50 Questions on the Pave Network, a show where your favourite personalities answer the curious and risky questions sent by you. Let's head over to the Pave Studios for the guest of the day. So, first question. Hmm. Ha, coincidentally, this is from Chief. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to tell you who, who, whose question it is, but okay, he says, how do you stay so genuinely grounded? Hmm. Um there isn't one thing that I can pinpoint um, it's a combination of things so for example um, happenings around around the world so people who are in the spotlight how they handle that and and also uh, we, we've, we've heard of the people who've done it all achieved so much and, and they're on top of their game and then a decision a judgment a choice brings them toppling down from grace to grass and and you know scandals here and there and so these are some of the things that I, I you know sort of um, guide me I don't gloat about somebody's downfall or if there's a scandal here or there it's a lesson for me I because it, it, it can happen to me and so it, it sorts of um, make me sit up and then try as much as possible to be consistent and focus so that I don't become, you know, I don't share or experience the same thing. How have you stayed together with Elon for all these years? <laughs> uh, it's a good one. It, it goes back to bits and pieces of what I said in the first question, you know, staying grounded, um, knowing that, um, you know, I need to be focused, that there's so many, so much expectations um, on me and therefore uh, I should do so well not to disappoint my fans and disappoint my, my family. Uh, my 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 grandma used to say that a good name is better than riches, and so it, it keeps ringing in my mind. And so these are a few things that that have have kept me um, together with Elo. Can you be cool with Auntie Enyunam in Yolo? Can you be cool with Auntie Enyunam? Well, that, that doesn't entirely depend on me, does it? I mean, um, I'm the one who didn't start off well. I mean, we, we, I'm sure you know how um, uh, Cyril came into the picture. Um, it wasn't, it wasn't, it was one of those flings, uh, the pusher character, and it didn't have a good foundation as in liking her or love for that matter. Um, it was just taking advantage of her. And so much depends on her. Why do celebrities not reply? comment <laughs> okay so um look I, this is not to hold brief for for, for for myself and for my my colleagues um listen i mean let's get real we're one okay and we're having comments come in from thousands you know some some are running to millions and and you, you can't answer everybody's comment but i i get to you that you know and i wouldn't also um, sub subscribe to those who do not, you know, acknowledge comments, um, do not, you know, um, acknowledge a praise or commendation here and there. I think that you know our fans have also contributed in in, in making us who we are and, and you know how far we've come. And so there's a need for us to acknowledge that. So yeah, I agree. But also make room for the fact that um, we, we we can answer some, but not all. Um, because you know it, it's, it's it's a tough thing to do. Um, what's my favorite food? Red, red, simple. Thank you. I like simple questions like that. <laughs> Why so fine and handsome? I don't know. I don't know. This how, how I was created. I just perhaps to be. I, I take care of myself. Okay, I take care of me. How do you manage ladies and your marriage? Hmm, tough one. I've been I've been very very intentional about um, 
you know the conversations when it's getting to certain spaces I, 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 I halt it I, I put on the brakes and I'm also open about as I said earlier on about some of these things with my family so that you know um, it's, it's not a one head thing you know, together we, we, we we put our brains together so that it doesn't get messy, you know. What is that? Your my definition of success? Mm, I think there are not, I think maybe two. One of the ways in which I I would define success, and I think that an Irish writer, orator, statesman captured it well when he said that success is 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 a thing that never consists of doesn't consist of never making mistakes but in, in never making the same mistake a second time. What has been your most challenging role? <clears throat> um, two comes into mind immediately, one for stage theatre. There was a, a production that I did where um, we, we were depicting the desert. And as you know, this performance took place at the National Theatre and the, 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 the days it's a wooden floor and so we're supposed to project the audience into a desert space and and there was no sun there was no scorching sun during the day chills at night and we needed to really take them into that space and it was very challenging on us because then are all our senses in there to be active and making them feel that we're feeling the heat of the day walking in sand and you know and all that and all the elements and and it was tough on us because there was there was no chance for you to go out of character because you lose them and, and it would be tough to bring them back and that 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 really really um, took a lot out of me, drained me a lot. Um, the second would be an an action uh, movie that I did. Uh, I think it was um, Cartel, Genesis Cartel or Interception, one of them. And during you know, it had a lot of fight choreographies uh, scenes, and um, I think I injured my back during one of those sequences. Um, they had to halt production. I had to go to the hospital, go heal because it was such an excruciating pain. There was a disc shift, and and so you know production had to halt. I had to heal. I had to come back before production did continue. It was really tough on me. So yeah. Do you have any future plans of becoming Ghana's next president? No. Thank you. Coffee or tea? Tea. <laughs> um, how did you make it in life? I haven't made it in life yet. I'm still on my journey. When will you come to my country, Sierra Leone? Oh, nice. Uh, the closest I came to was Senegal. Um, maybe one day, I'm sure. I would, I would love to do that, yeah. I love traveling too, so thank you. Um, will, okay, no. What inspires me? I think we've answered this partially, haven't we? Um, so, so. I think one, one, one of one of I take inspiration from um, my son, and and the fact that you know, um, I I know that I'm I'm really a part of how his foundation is formed, and and therefore I, you know, what I do to be a, a typical example for him because, you know, once you get that base right, then you have set him on a good direction um, and, and, and so crucial that um, I be that example for him um, in, 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 in everything um, and so he, he is one that does that yeah as I said I answered this partially in a previous question so let's move on and when would you say was the turning point in your in your in your life career Um, an opportunity and I was prepared for it so there was a I ha happened to uh, accompany a friend um, Whitfield to a, a rehearsal and this was when we we're, were rehearsing at uh, GBC for the TV theater there was this drama thing going on every Thursday on TV and I, I accompanied him he went to this rehearsal I didn't know much about it and then we got there and there was Fred Amogi, there was Sefakayi and the likes, and I'm like, whoa! I was I was really excited, and so when we got when we when we went got to the rehearsal, they, they were rehearsing a script, and one of the cast did not turn up, and so I, uh, the director then asked me to 
read that part and I read it the best that I could. After they were all looking at me and like, have I actually passed it? No. They were like, okay. He's gonna give me this role if if I if I did come back the next time. Of course, I thought he was joking, but I came the second time, and that ended being my first TV theatre, first production, genuine first official production. What was your biggest ever role in the in in a movie, and why? That's that's really tough. Biggest ever role. Um, it, it's tough really to choose, you know, because. For me, um, okay, let me just make it easier. Biggest role. Oh, probably I'll give it to Kitty K. The why, the why is because, it, it, you know, we did this out of my comfort zone in the sense that we, now here were the two characters, mainly for the most part of the movie, and, and low budget. You know, surprisingly, movies that really have reached, have taken me places where those that I, I, I paid virtual nothing. Um, what is your greatest inspiration in life? And have you ever thought of quitting your acting job? Yes, I, I've considered that before, um, especially when um, marriage was coming in. And this was the days where we were doing it for, for, for the love of it, but it wasn't rewarding. And, and here was I, I was bringing this young lady, taking her from the, the, the family. Um, she was having three square meals a day, and here was I, um, depending on movies alone, and you know, I couldn't keep up. So this, I, I needed to put it on hold. I mean, genuinely, realistically, come on. And then I went into the corporate um, you know, manufacturing business in, uh, where I, I worked in a cotton manufacturing uh, company. I was the head of marketing there. and. I spent a couple of years there, um, and I was I wasn't finding fulfillment, and so I was like, well, go back to your first love, and then find ways to make you work, to earn a living by it, and that's where the other second phase of my journey started. So yeah, there was a point where I considered quitting, and, and I did I did quit for a while. Yeah. Okay. What has been your what been your challenging moment in life? I've had a number of them. Um, I mean, if, if respect to, if it's respect to the, 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 the industry, I mean, then one would be, hmm, okay, one would be when I don't get genuine feedback. When, when I'm not, I know that no, I've, I've, the, the fear of not making an impact on an audience. And it, it's just like when you, you, it's like a football match, you go, Black Stars go into a tournament and then they lose. <laughs> the fear of disappointing your fans, the fear of um, um, making people really um, get lose hope in you because you, you let them down, and 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 that, that 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 has been it. That has been it. What's that one thing you wish you had known before becoming famous? Life under the spotlight. <laughs> That's one thing, you know. As I said earlier on, I started on the wrong foot because I wasn't prepared for it. I didn't know how to handle, um, especially people of the opposite sex, ladies who give me all the attention and admiration and all that. And I thought that pleasing, you know, being in their good books or building my fan base or you know, you know, what would be to get to get a personal um, kind of um, chats going on, etc. And and so yeah, yeah, we, we spoke about that earlier on. Okay. So that would have been it, being, being prepared and being sensitized into this, where I was going and, and, and what to expect. Fame from things we do for love, life. It's okay, love, but not life. Um, how was it? Hmm. It, it, was, it was unexpected and, 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 and uncomfortable. I remember when I walked into um, church some time back and somebody, saw me as like, hey, Pusha, what's up, sorry? You know, he said it just like that. Then he caught himself. He realized that mm, I shouldn't have said that, but it's too late. Yeah, but, you know, um, people not being able to draw the line between what we do, that, you know, as far as our craft is concerned and then our personal space. Yeah, I know that we play the characters we play, so there might be some similar similarities that you can draw, but for the most part, you know, we have a life that we're living and, and we hope that. Um, how can one get hold of okay you for interviews? Uh, you can DM me. 
<laughs> All right. Uh, can you tell me the person who inspired you to make it to where you are? A number of them. At, at every phase, at every level, there's somebody out there who is encouraging me, who is um, ins an inspiration. Um, so, hmm, if, I, I, a number of them. What inspired you to change your bad boy acting style to a very good, responsible man? <laughs> What inspired me? I don't know about that. It's it's you know it's it's work. It, it work comes to us, and it's, it's, I mean, well, of course, we have a lot to say um, in terms of content. I have a lot to say when it comes to content. So it's not for me all about the budget. Um, as I said, some of the the movies that have really um, made an impact on, on my journey has been those that didn't even have a budget budget at all, and and so content, you know, budget. Um, so I don't determine that per se. It's, 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 it's what comes to me and then I have to take a decision on that. Where do you want to be next five years and what do you want to be remembered for? Next five years, where would I want to be? Way better than where I find myself. Um, there, there are a number of works in the line for me in terms of productions, etc. So that being realization, and, and what do I want to be remembered for? Hmm. To have impacted lives, um, to have helped to um, contributed in, in pushing our industry to another level, to have um, really, yeah, I, th I think, I think, yeah. Ajit, if given the opportunity to relive your life, what career would you choose? <laughs> uh, I don't like such questions at all. I, I, I mean, look, um, we live my life, uh, yeah, same, same, same thing, same thing, but um, do it differently, you know, places where, um, where my weaknesses before begin as strengths, and, um, you know, because of hindsight, and you, you just know, yeah, you do it better, yeah, so yeah, same thing. Um, what's the best way to brand yourself in the movie industry to receive international offers? The best way to brand yourself is one of which would be that your 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 expertise, your your skill, your talent does not end in front of the camera. And so way be way way after cut, you carry that same skill, that expertise, that that that, that brand, that image that everybody is, is connecting to out there. What's the one most important thing you feel like you need to do before you die? Hey, what's that? One most important, Charlie, I don't know. I'm allowed to say that, I don't know. I'm, I'm still thinking about it. <laughs> Great people, so there it is. I mean, look, I want you to kindly subscribe to the PAVE Network. Um, they're doing wonderful things. They're bringing us to you closer and you closer to us and I love what's going on and so let's keep it going subscribe across all social media platforms and you 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 keep on loving this okay take care